Are you looking to improve your race times ranging from your 800 meters up to your marathon? Threshold running is a training technique for improving your endurance, speed and stamina. Threshold workouts are done right around your lactate threshold. For most runners, their lactate threshold is roughly the pace that they could run if they were racing for one hour. The Inger Bitsen family is of course famous in the running sport, where the three brothers train under the coaching of their father. Jacob trained often with his two brothers Hendrik and Philip already at a young age. The Inger Bitsen family, as well as other Norwegian runners like Caroline Grofdal, have implemented threshold training as one of their key workouts during the week. Caroline Grofdal won the European Cross Country Championships at the women's race, while Jacob won in the men's race. Jacob Reddy has an amazing track record at his age of 22. Maybe the most important one is him becoming the Olympic champion in 2021 in Tokyo in the 1500 meters. The Norwegians are becoming more dominant in the running sport the last decade on every distance. For example, with Sun and Moon in the marathon and Karsten Warholm in the 400 meters. Jacob's base training period can roughly be categorized in four different training types, namely easy training, threshold training, hill repeats, and long runs. Inger Bitsen does so-called double threshold days as well, both on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Normally, the first session is slightly longer effort with a bit lower lactate buildup, and the evening session with shorter efforts and a bit higher lactate buildup. Inger Bitsen is very careful with the intensity of these sessions. They always measure lactate and often run them on the treadmill as well to control the pace. In this video, I will go over the benefits of threshold training. How to determine your threshold pace correctly and some typical threshold workouts, also zooming in on Jacob's schedule. Let's dive in. Whether you're an 800 meter runner or a marathon runner, working on your lactate threshold has a ton of benefits. Threshold running involves running at or just below your current threshold level. Your body will become more efficient clearing lactate at this pace and therefore allow you gradually build your pace. Several other benefits include it boosts your overall endurance, also because it's mostly an aerobic effort, allowing you to run a faster pace for a longer time, helping you to cut fatigue especially during your race, and it should also increase your VO2 max as well. Running at threshold puts a great deal of stress on your body though, and as such only elite athletes could do more than two threshold runs a week. You could stick to a basic rule of thumb that 80% of your runs should be easy and 20% should be hard or at threshold level. There are several ways you can figure out what your threshold running pace is. Some are technical and highly accurate, others are fairly rudimentary but still effective. I would highly recommend to get your lactate threshold scientifically studied. If you want to know your precise running threshold, you can visit the sports science laboratory we will run on the treadmill and have your blood tested or breathing output measured. This data will give you the most accurate information on your lactate threshold. However, it's an expensive process. Myself, an experienced runner and professional runners use a lactate measurement device like the Lactate Pro or Equitrend Plus. By analyzing your blood, you can determine how much lactate has built up during your longer intervals. If you can't get it measured properly, I would suggest you to determine threshold by calculating it against your race time. Threshold running pace is often considered to be just a little faster than your average pace at half marathon. Take your last or last two half marathons as a reference. Your threshold pace is a pace you can keep steady for one hour. So your threshold run is simply a little bit faster than your half marathon race pace. Using your running watch can be tricky. With the rule of thumb, the threshold pace is like 85-90% to 90 of your max heart rate it's still hard to determine if you put in a threshold effort. Heart rate is not so accurate. I would rather let you determine it by feel. Let's zoom in on some typical threshold workouts. Threshold workouts can be continuous or broken into intervals. Continuous threshold workouts range from 15 to 30 minutes at an hour race effort. You can break the intervals into 3 to 50 minute increments with short rest, one of two minutes in between. Let's have a look at some sample workouts. 4 to 6 times 5 minute threshold pace with 1 minute recovery jog in between. Then 4 to 6 times 1 mile at threshold pace with 1 minute jog in between. 
continuous effort of 15 to 20 minutes a threshold effort. During peak training weeks, not applied too often, you can also do a 3 to 5 2K at threshold pace with a 2 minute recovery jog. Of course, don't forget to do a proper warm up and cool down for at least 10 minutes. Now we went over the benefits and typical threshold workouts. Let's have a look at Ingram Business Schedule. He implements the so called double threshold runs on Tuesday and Thursday. These are days where he does a threshold session in the morning and the evening. Let's look at the typical training week of Ingerbitsen. On Monday, he does an easy 10k in the morning and 10k in the evening. On Tuesdays, he does a 5x 6 minute threshold run with 2 minute recovery. PM, he does a 25x400 threshold session with 30 seconds recovery. On Wednesday, he does in the morning a 10k easy session. In the afternoon, also a 10k easy. On Thursdays, he does a 5x6 minute threshold with 2 minute recovery in the morning. In the afternoon, he does 10 times 1000 meter threshold effort with 60 seconds recovery. On Friday, again he does in the morning a 10k easy session and in the evening again 10k easy with some weightlifting. Saturday, he does some hill repeats, namely 20 times 200 meters. He will jog down for recovery with 3 minutes rest in between the sets of 10. In the afternoon, he does another easy session or some continuous threshold effort. On Sunday, he does an easy long run of 20 kilometers and some weightlifting again. He has three easy days, incorporates two times a double threshold session, and on Saturday, he has hill repeats, and on Sunday, his long run to build and your base. Don't start with double threshold runs right away, of course. Inkerbitz is an elite runner with years of experience. There are numerous benefits to threshold training, though. So implementing this training once or twice a week in your schedule will definitely help you improve. If you have any more questions about threshold training, put them down in the comments. And as always, if you still go out there today, have fun and get on the run.